Hey, I'm Stu, developer of Slug It Out 2. And I'm Mike, QA tester, and this is the chest unboxing extravaganza. Here we go, we're gonna open up a bunch of different chests. Starting so this, this one, we're gonna, this one's the first chest we have, it's the quick chest, so we're opening it up here with gems. We got some coins, some food for frost crawler. And that's it. Now we're gonna open up the standard chest. Costs a little more gems. Let's see what we get. We get more coins and more food. Oh, we have another slug ready to level up. And even more food for Frostcrawler. And more food for Boondock. And so here's the next chest. It's a premium chest, which costs more gems, but we're gonna get some more out of it. So we're gonna get even more coins than before. We're gonna get gems this time. We're getting some food for our slugs here, and we're getting a little more food than we would typically get. And, uh, yeah, you got a lot of food there. Now for the silver chest. All of the gems. Even more coins. A bunch of gems. So much food. It's even more food. Wow, we have slugs almost leveling up now. Oh, but now we're out of those. So here we are in the store. We uh, offer starter packs. These are pretty much uh, like chests on steroids, I would say. You get lots and lots of stuff with them. And if you need more gems, you can always buy some more gems here if you are pinched for time. As well as if you need more coins to be able to level up your slugs, you can use your gems then to buy more coins. And this is just, you know, if you don't have the time to play the game, uh, you get to, you know, speed it up a little bit. And you can also get food. So here's the uh, chests. You can buy chests if, if you have enough gems for them. So let's uh, go ahead and get this silver one here. It's going to cost us 100 gems, so we do that. And we're going to get a bunch of coins out of it. We're going to get some more gems. And again, we're going to get a bunch of food for our, uh, our friends here. Now we're gonna open up this gold chest. Costs even more gems, but you don't even have to wait. You just get to open it immediately. And you get more coins. More gems. Oh, we get a bunch of food for our little boondock. Oh, uh, here you go in furnace. Get close to leveling up. Forge smelter, you get more. And we get a new slug. Hello, Nega Shade. Welcome to the team. So that was just a, a brief look at the store. So now we're back here in the hideout and we have four gold chests. Maybe we should open one of them up. So 72 gems to open one that we got here. So we're do that. And uh, we're gonna get a bunch of coins and a ton of uh, gems, 19. And again, we're, getting, we're gonna get food for Boondock and uh, Frostcrawler. We can't, we can't forget Infernus, so we'll level him up a bit with some food. And we got Globus as a new slug for our team. Hello, Globus. Well, let's see if we can get Globus a friend. Gold chests almost always give you a slug, so they are very valuable. And, you know, you also get all this stuff. Here's some more coins. Oh, even more gems. Infernus, just keep eating. We need you to level up high. Same with you, Frostcrawler. You're a little behind there. Oh, we got Lava Links. Kind of looks like a little Globus, too. Well, they'll be good pals. So we have two more gold chests. I'm going to open this one here. So again, 72 gems to open it. And we got 57 coins this time. 17 gems, that's, that's a lot. And um, yeah, we're giving food to Globus that we just got. We're giving more food to Boondock because he's very hungry, it seems. And Inferno is obviously the most hungry of them all. And we got Blastipede for our friends to play with. Hello, Blastipede. Yeah, and opening these chests are good to getting food for your new slugs. You just see now that your uh, Globus is slowly getting closer to leveling up now. Uh, we got more coins. More gems. Let's see who gets the food. Hello, Lava Links. Yeah, you need as much food as you can. You need to level up. You're on level one there. Oh, Frostcrawler's hungry. Infernus is stuffed. <laughs> Mega Breaker, the little chomper. Chomps. Yeah. Chomper. And he's ready to level up too. Okay. Well, we just opened up all of those chests. So I guess we should probably, you know, actually get some of these slugs into a team and, you know, let them work out a bit. I agree. Let's, uh, let's pick a, a few of the ones we got out of the chest here and, um, let's start a battle. So here we are. We've picked 
four slugs that we got out of chests, and we have this boss battle coming up here. So let's try that out. At land's end, we are going to be facing Nur. Alright, it looks like this will not be too hard for you. We, uh, we got, you know, a fairly decent matchup. He has, uh, or, sorry, she. She has, uh, two Granooks. Just gotta make sure to clear those off when those show up. And, uh, Bubbly Own will reflect stuff, and... The Arachnus not even gonna charge... Oh, oh, he just got eaten there, too. Not even gonna be able to do a level 3 charge, so we don't even have to worry about that. All are level 10, so that means all of ours are able to do a charge 3 if we need to. We are just gonna... Oh, look at that train. Uh, we got the chomping going, we got some healing going. You gotta have those chomps. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have, have the chomps. Oh, are we gonna get hit? Oh man, we're gonna get slowed down just a little bit. But that's not really too much of a problem because we've already taken her down halfway through her health. And she's only done like 100 damage to us. It's it's actually kind of sad. We Our slugs are just gonna trounce her. We got Arachnid here, do, do another hit on us. And we got a few blaster shots, but look at that. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp those blaster shots, and then let's the, do some damage. The more he eats, the stronger he will hit. And he got quite a few there. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you can fire high-level flashes. She's just not going to be able to do anything. Oh, the sad, sad blaster shots. No, not the five damage. It's a good thing we have all these nice new slugs all fully leveled up to level 10. And oh, here we go. Sorry, your bubble on cannot counter me. It is too low level. Oh, and look at that. The last shot was a chomp. Mako Breaker does it. Good job, Mako Breaker. All right, so we were awarded a crystal chest and we're not gonna open it up this time because I think that'd be a good video to open up a bunch of other crystal chests next time. And you get those by facing the bosses, of course. And they are pretty much just as good as your gold chests, but look how pretty they are. Um, so that was uh, our unboxing video, the, the chest unboxing extravaganza. And uh, let us know if you like uh, unboxing stuff. Also let us know what other type of videos you want to see and what slugs you want put into this game in the comment section. Like that video? If so, the game is available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Make sure to like us on Facebook. And like this video if you like this type of Slug Terra video. And subscribe to get more frequent updates to when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching guys. See, See you next time in Slug Terra. Terra.